Hello, students and listeners at home. Welcome to online teaching from St. Charles College. Your teacher is Helen Okoye from Mass Department. Subject is Mathematics SS1. Topic, Proof of Some Basic Theory. Let us look at our specific objective. By the end of the lesson, students should be able to, one, identify angles at a point, two, identify angles on a straight line, three, identify vertical opposite angle, alternate, corresponding angles and parallel lines. Four, prove that the angles of a triangle is two right angles in bracket 180 degrees. Five, to prove that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles. Six, calculate angles of triangles. Before we go to the main topic, we first of all do revision of angles. Angles on a straight line sum up to 180 degrees. The question is find the lettered angles in the figure below. Number one, the angle Y and 35 degrees is angle on a straight line, which is 180 degrees. We are asked to find angle Y. To find angle Y, we say y plus 35 equal to 180 degrees angle on a straight line. That reason means anybody that don't know where that 180 comes from, we look at the bracket and see that the 180 degrees is some angle on a straight line, which is 180. Now we collect like terms. That 35, the sign in front of it is plus 35, positive 35. And the additive inverse is minus 35, balancing equation that you did in your JS1, in your JS2. That additive inverse is when you bring a box, that's weighing balance that you are bringing. When you put 35, put minus 35 on the other side. Plus 35 minus 35 is zero. This one, this the other side we go, then it will be 180 minus 35. That's where we get a minus sign. Our Y is 145 degrees. Number two, vertical opposite angles are equal. When you look at B, this is vertical opposite to this. C, vertical opposite to 80 degrees. You see it, it looks like scissors. Now, but before we get B, we must get D. In, in B, look at my diagram. When I close here, you will see that the up will be angle on a straight line. Why will be the number one? So to get B, we say B plus 180 equals 180 degrees, our reason inside the bracket, angle on a straight line. Additive inverse of plus 80 is minus, balancing equation, B equal to 180 minus 80, B equal to 100 degrees. It then means that B is vertical opposite to B, therefore D is 100 degrees. Then if B is 100 degrees, what is C? C is also vertical opposite to 80 degrees. C is 80 degrees. When we go to corresponding and alternate angles, corresponding angles are equal, alternate angles are also equal. When you look at the diagram there, we have two parallel lines and the transversal line that cut it. What is a parallel line? A parallel line is two lines that can never meet, even at infinity. I will show you the two parallel lines. These two parallel lines are that the two parallel. Then this is the transversal that call the two parallel lines. Now we are going to show corresponding alternate angle angle on a straight line from this diagram. We have D1, D1 equal to B2 alternate angle. C1 equal to A2 alternate angle. B1 equal to B2 corresponding angles. All these angles I'm showing you, they are equal. Then A1 equal to A2 corresponding angles. From here, I can show you angle on a straight line. If I close this, you will see that A1 plus B1 is angle on a straight line. We have done before, which is 180 degrees. Then if I close this also and close this side, you can see that A2 plus B2 is angle on a straight line. At the same time, if you like, you close this also and only call this one. D1 plus C1 is angle on a straight line. And D2 plus C2 is angle on a straight line. Then the next diagram, 
In this diagram, we will show angle on a straight line corresponding alternate and the angle at a point. We are asked to find alpha, beta, any degrees, t degrees, and theta. Let us first of all find alpha. When you look at my diagram, this is my alpha, this is my 40 degrees, and look at the shape, it looks like z. And this shape of z, this is alternate to this. So alpha is equal to 40 degrees, alternate angle. Now, having found this, we can find beta. You look at this beta, we close this side, you see it is now angle on a straight line, which is 180. Now, to find beta, beta plus 40, that do we get that 40 from beta, from alpha? We say that alpha is 40 degrees, so beta plus 40 degrees equal to 180 degrees, angle on a straight line. We collect like terms. Additive inverse of 40 degrees, which is the balancing equation, if you put plus 40, you put minus 40. Is minus. So beta is 180 minus 40. Beta is 140 degrees. Then we go here. You look at it. This is 125 degrees. Before you get, you have to get n. You close this side. You can see that n and 125 degrees is angle on a straight line, which is 180. So we say n plus 125 degrees equal to 180 degrees angle on a straight line. Collecting like terms, you make n the subject of the formula. 125 degrees, there is no sign there, but it is positive. Then the additive inverse is when you put plus, you put minus so that they will balance, which means n equal to 180 minus 125 equal to 55 degrees. Now, if you are 55 degrees, it will be 55 degrees alternate angle. Now, to find this, you can see here, this is a circle, but when you complete it here, when you bring 40 and T, it is now a complete circle. And sum of a circle is 360 degrees. And here is theta. We are looking for theta. So we say theta plus 40 degrees plus 45 degrees. This is 40 and 55 degrees. When we add 40 plus 55, it is 95 degrees. Now, equal to 360. Sum angle of a circle is 360. 95 degrees and 360 degrees are like terms. You balance the equation plus and minus, theta equal to 360 minus 95 degrees. Theta is 265 degrees. We have done all this that will help us to prove that some angle of a triangle is 180 degrees, that is two right angles. We are now going to our proof. After that, we go to number two. Look at our proof. You pay attention and relax and enjoy the proof very well. This is in this triangle. This is the triangle A, B, C. And this triangle, when you draw a triangle, you produce this line B, C to X. From C, produce to P, which will be parallel. C, P will be parallel to A, B. In our proof, we are asked to prove that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees, some angle of a triangle. Now, we have done to produce a line BC to X and draw a line CP to be parallel to AB. We now start the proof. A1, our A1 equal to A2. Look at the shape, like Z, alternate angle. B2 equal to B1 corresponding angle. Now, you know that we have a straight angle of C and the, two, the whole of this angle, when you close here, the whole of this angle is angle on a straight line, which means, let us call here C1 plus A1 plus B1 equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because B, B, C, X, D, C, X is 180 degrees, angle on a straight line. Now, in our proof, we say that A1 is equal to A2. So when we say C plus A1 plus B1 equal to 180 degrees, angle B, C, X is angle on a straight line. We can replace A1 with A2 because A1 equal to A2 is alternate. We can replace B1 equal to B2 because B1 equal to B2 is corresponding. 
So what we have now is C plus C plus A2 plus B2 equal to 180 degrees, some angle of a triangle. Therefore, where do we have A2? Angle A. Where do we have B2? Angle B. Where do we have this angle? Angle C. That is, let us call here C1. Angle C. So, we have done our proof. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degrees. Pure ED. Quite clearly done. Then we go to the second proof, theorem 2, to prove that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles. Look at the diagram. This is the two interior angles to this exterior angle. You are now at home. Inside your house, you are inside. That is exterior, inside. When you go outside, that is exterior, outside angle. That when you add this and this, it will give you this. Suppose this one is 50 degrees, this one is 50 degrees. When you add two of them, you will get 100 degrees. That is what we are going to, we are proving. Now, you cannot say that this side and this side are opposite to this. No, it's this and this are opposite to this one. When we have another extended line here, this and this will be opposite to the outside here, right here. Now, we go to our proof. Pick your arm. A triangle is given to us. We produce pure arm to point S. Triangle pick your arm, extended to, then angle S. You will see a mark on top of that S. We have a mark angle on top of it. It shows angle. Or if they didn't put that angle on top of R, R will be at the middle. We ask to prove that angle P R S equal to angle P plus angle Q. This is this angle gap P R S is equal to angle P plus angle Q. That is what we are required to prove. Then we start. P R S plus P R Q. P R S plus P R Q. The whole of this, when we close here, the whole of this is angle on a straight line. Remember, we say that it is what? 180 degrees. Now we want to make angle PRS the subject of the formula. That angle PRQ, we have a sign, positive sign in front of it. Now, additive inverse, putting plus and minus, it will be angle PRS equal to 180 minus PRQ. Then we go back again, angle P plus angle Q plus angle PRQ. Inside here, we are talking of this one, PRQ. This one is PRS, so we are talking of this angle. This plus this plus this equal to 180 degrees that we have proved before, some angle of A triangle. Then P plus QR, we make it the subject of the formula. P plus QR is equal to 180 minus PRQ. What does it mean? When you look at the first proof up, where we say QRS is angle on the straight line, you will see that PRS is the subject of the formula where we have 180 minus PRQ. Then replace that 180 minus PRQ with PRS. Therefore, when we replace it, we have PRS equal to angle P plus angle Q, Q E D. Then we go to calculations of angles. In calculations of angles, it is what we have done in our proof that we are going to calculate now. Find the lettered angles in the figures below. We are given a triangle. We have angle C inside, angle D outside. We are asked to calculate C and D. When you look at this triangle, remember some angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. Let us first of all calculate C. When we calculate C, it will be C plus 50 degrees plus 60 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Our reason, some angle of a triangle. 60 plus 50 is 110 degrees. Plus 110 and 180 degrees are like terms. Positive, additive, inverse. You put minus at the other box, plus so that it will balance. Then we have C equal to 180 minus 110. C is 70 degrees. We have got C at 70 degrees. Then when we close, we have C and D is angle on a straight line. 
So C plus D equal to 180 degrees angle on a straight line. Remember, we have got the C at 70 degrees. So 70 plus D equal to 180 degrees. 70 and 180 are like terms. Positive sub sign is in front of 70. Additive inverse of positive is negative in your boss. Remember, you are balancing the equation plus and minus. So D equal to 180 minus 70 degrees. Our D is 110 degrees and our C is 70 degrees. Number two, you look at this diagram. It looks like this, our first proof. Some angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. So if you understand that proof, understood that proof very well, you can calculate this. When you look at there, x, you are asked to find x, y, and n. And our x is 80 degrees alternate angles are equal. Our n is 60 degrees. You will see 60 is and n are corresponding angles. Then to get y, y degrees is inside. We have known n as 60 and 80 inside angle, which means that sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. We are going to say our n is 60 plus 80 plus y equal to 180 degrees, sum angle of a triangle. 80 plus 60 is 140. y plus 140 degrees equal to 180 like terms, 140 and 180 balancing equation. Plus 140, we put minus, it is 1, y equal to 180 minus 140. y is 40 degrees, x is 80 degrees, n is 60 degrees. We go to number 3. When you look at this number 3, we have two parallel lines up and down the triangle. And the triangle is inside the two parallel lines. And we are given inside that triangle, we have 60 degrees, 55 degrees, b degrees. First of all, let us find b degrees. Our B degrees will be 60 degrees plus 55 degrees plus B degrees equal to 180 degrees, some angle of a triangle. 50 plus 60 is 115 degrees. Like terms, 115 and 180 are like terms. So our B is 180 minus 115. B is 65 degrees. If D is 65 degrees, our A is alternate to B. So A equal to 55 degrees, alternate angle. If B is 55 degrees, B and C are angle on a straight line. So B plus C equal to 180 degrees. B is 65, 65 plus C equal to 180 degrees. C equal to 180 degrees minus 65 degrees. C equal to 115 degrees. Number four, look at that triangle. We have a sign at the opposite sides. That is an isosceles triangle. Remember in our JS1 and 2, we are told types of triangle. One, scaling triangle. A scaling triangle is a triangle where all the sides and all the angles are not equal. We have isosceles triangle. Opposite sides are equal. Opposite angles are equal. We have equilateral triangle. All the sides and all the angles are equal. We have a right angle triangle where we have angle 90 degrees and the hypotenuse. So in this one, we have isosceles where opposite sides are equal, base angles are also equal. So in this triangle, we are given only one figure. We are asked to find R degrees, S degrees, T degrees. Only 50 degrees is given to us. When you look at it, whenever you see a triangle where the opposite side, there is mark there. It means equal, equal, equality sign. So the two of them, opposite sides are equal. Its base angle will be also equal. Therefore, S equal to 50 degrees. Reason, base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Now, let us find R. We will add 50 degrees plus R plus that 50 degrees we got from S, making it 180 degrees. Our reason is that some angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. R degrees, 50 plus 50 is 100. R plus 100 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Additive inverse of 100 degrees is minus balancing equation. R equal to 180 minus 100. Our R now is 180 degrees. Then let us get T. To get T, we know that S is 50 degrees. 
T and S are angled on a straight line, which is 180 degrees. So R plus T means 50 plus T equal to 180 degrees. Then to collect like terms, T equal to 180 minus 50, our R is 130 degrees. Now, having done all this, having done all the problems, the proof, the calculation of angles, let's all summarize our question. First of all, we have two subtopics. In that two subtopics, to prove that some angle of a triangle is 180 degrees, that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to opposite interior angles. But before we do that, we calculate angles. In that angles, we calculate corresponding angles, alternate angles, angle on a straight line, angle at a point, parallel lines. Now, and the properties of a triangle, which I told you that, number one, scaling, the scaling triangle, all the sides and all the angles are not equal. Isosceles triangle, opposite sides are equal, base angles are equal. Equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. Right angle triangle, we have angle 90 degrees and the hypotenuse. Now, from this summary, look at our evaluation. Find the lateral angle in the triangles below. You have to solve it and send it to my WhatsApp number, which I will give to you after this. Number one, we have x to find x degrees, y degrees, z degrees. Number two, you ask to find x degrees, 5x degrees, and 2x degrees. Number three, you look at this triangle. It is one of the triangles that I explained now. You look at those marks. It means all the sides are equal. And we are given only one exterior angle, which is 120 degrees. You have to calculate angle Y, Z, X. Now, number four, you calculate angle Q, N, and the M degrees. Now, having done all this, look at my WhatsApp contacts. If you want, you answer my questions and send it to my WhatsApp contact 080-387-99127. Thank you for your audience. Hope to see you some other time. God bless. Bye.